Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Right, so today, wow, where do I begin? So today is the day before move day and it is, what day is it today, babe? It's the 10th of December, is it? No, it's not. It's the 14th of December, guys. I look a mess. This is what my house currently looks like. Look at this. There's just boxes here. There's boxes there. There's nothing on the walls. It just looks so bad. It looks so weird. Let me take you also to our bathroom. Literally, it's so echoey in here now because we've got nothing in there before. Hello, Oral B. Yes. Yeah, both me and my boyfriend have got the same toothbrush. There's my one there. Oh, well. So, yeah, everything is empty. Everything is literally in a box. These are just our essentials. You guys know that most of it's mine of course there's just boxes everywhere like look at this oh my god and you know when you feel like you don't have that much stuff until you start packing it and you're like how is there so much stuff my apartment is so tiny guys and just the fact that i don't know it's just it's this has just been so stressful i definitely feel like it's so easy to underestimate how hard this is and it might just sound like just grab your stuff put it in a box it's easy hell no it's i think one of the most stressful things that i've ever done i've been on edge so much just because you're still trying to do your work you're still trying to have a normal life and then like after work or during the whole weekend you're literally just trying to organize everything and it's just this like luckily we had a turn like um what's that called an overlap yeah luckily we had an overlap so that you know we're in no rush so if we can't take everything tomorrow we've still got time to come back and collect some things but really guys like you kind of want to do it all in one like we've got fantastic services who are going to be amazing they're going to come with a van and manpower to kind of just come collect all the boxes put it in the van and take it to the new place the new place isn't really that far away it's still in east london and it's just bigger but i'm just worried because it's brand new like when we go there we really don't have much like, i don't even know where to put all this stuff if i'm really honest like there's not even drawers for like underwear and socks and stuff like that so we've got one chest of drawers i've also ordered just like two random ones that are just not that cute but they will just do for the time being and yeah i basically have uh, my friend's dinner to go to tonight it's his dinner it's gary's 30th birthday party so like really want to go to that hopefully i can still make that and then on sunday we're moving and on monday i'm flying to amsterdam so it's just like everything's happening I am really tired. I'm really stressed. This light is not cute. But yeah, I just wanna. I've been watching YouTube videos actually on like what's the best way to kind of pack and do stuff like that, you know? And it's definitely been really, really helpful. Whatever you think, however many boxes you think you're gonna need, no definitely get more definitely get more we were originally quoted like 60 boxes we were like hell no so we've got like 25 and then <laughs> no babes <laughs> we ordered another 25 and even now i'm still like mm, not sure if this is gonna be enough but yeah i cannot wait for that day where i'm just in the new house i cannot wait for after sunday i can't wait for things to just have this place and order mm. so yeah guys i'm so so excited to just get it all done if i'm really honest with you like i'm so over it i have been struggling to film content in this environment i've been struggling to find things to just like move my lights around because there's lack of space and hopefully like in the new house there's so much more space so we'll be able to have a filming room and and all of that i'm most concerned about the palm tree being transported i'm so scared that something's gonna happen to her and that she's gonna break or she's gonna get damaged like she's literally like the baby of the house she's so cute she's grown so much but i'm just like when is this all gonna be over also guys it feels so weird that there's like no frames on the wall i feel like when you take all the frames off the walls it literally makes the place feel so white and empty and plain it's just like adding frames frames onto the walls like adds so much more like character or homeliness i don't know like i really didn't realize until we took everything down and we're like wow but yeah good news is i have created a brand new instagram home account and i'm so excited i have basically i started it when we moved in when i got the keys uh, we took the photo straight away and posted it on that day it was really emotional i cried like six seven times that day writing that caption for you guys but so exciting that there's going to be that little side project as well that i'm doing so if you love anything home and all things home related then be sure to check it out it's just danny defreitas home and 
and I also vlogged a empty house tour of the new place so that's as as we bought it and what it looks like so that would be really really cool that's going to be out I'm not sure if I'm going to post that before or after this video but definitely check that out on my YouTube page and I'm thinking about maybe doing an empty apartment tour vlog of this place as well when we're finally moved and when everything's out just to kind of show you the difference and everything. Um, but yeah, we are, I just thought I'd vlog move date. So here we go guys, we're just gonna do it. I'll probably see you either later on today or if not, first, first thing tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. when Fantastic Services are gonna come round and help us move. See you then. Oh my God, it's so early. Uh, I am not a morning person at all. I feel crazy. Woo! Morning guys, so today is move day. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, I'm literally like so sleepy. I feel like we went to bed at like one or two, we were just closing up all the boxes and stuff. But I feel really happy that me and my boyfriend basically managed to get everything done. It's all pretty much ready to go. I'm shook. It's like, what's the time now? It's like 7.30, so yeah, I woke up at like 7-ish. <laughs> Some 715 really <laughs> yeah now we're just gonna wait for fantastic services to come round I look crazy but let me show you what everything looks like okay guys so over here we have around about 40 boxes this is in Sane. Originally, we just bought 20 and we were like, oh, that might be okay. No, no way. Do not So 40 boxes was what we got everything else <laughs> Empty oh and I actually feel like I don't know like is this empty? Oh, oh, then over here in this area we also have loads of guys I'm an ex Mac boy still holding on to these Mac bags they are so useful everything that didn't fit in the box and then that is the big mama boxes here we have all of our frames which we bubble wrap here are the shelves these units are actually ours oh no wait guys there's all these boxes in the bedroom as well completely forgot about these so there's all that going on yeah how do I feel I feel sad I'm not gonna lie I think it's crazy oh my god I look so tired I need a filter <laughs> So yeah, I'm actually feeling really kind of sad and I don't know, emotional. I don't really know how I feel guys. I feel like things have been so crazy busy with like the move, with work, just the schedule has been really intense this month. Uh, it's kind of just been go, go, go. So I haven't really had any time to like process or reflect, but um, this is definitely one of the hardest things that I've done in my life, I feel like, cause it's just been like stressful. But at the same time, I'm excited for the new journey. But at the same time, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I kind of also wanted the new place to be like super minimal and just clean and like I love the space I love how clean it and tidy it is right now and now that I feel like we're taking all these boxes like is it gonna be like that you know is it just gonna be chaos now all right anyway so yeah I'm so so sad to, to say goodbye to this place and I honestly cannot believe for such a small apartment we managed to fit all this stuff and have it all in its place and live in quite a tidy apartment I would say so I'm quite confident that we're gonna be able to manage in the new place I just you know what this place we made home that's the only thing that's really upsetting like I feel like we made this place our home so I don't want to talk about this because I'm getting emotional. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of sad to leave this place and they've already found new tenants as well. Like straight away they found new tenants for this place because it is a really good apartment in a really good location. I'm just so sad. I hope the new people will look after this place. I know it's not for my place, but I'm just attached. I get attached to things, guys. I'm quite emotional. But yeah, upwards and onwards, as they say. So we are going to go and hopefully make a new home in our house which we've bought um it still doesn't really feel like we've bought it i don't know it just feels like a place it still doesn't feel like home and we haven't slept there yet so tonight's gonna be the first night that we sleep there so yeah we're just gonna wait for fantastic services to come and then i'm gonna like vlog some of the move and also like just i'm gonna try and show you everything guys <laughs> uh the good the bad and the ugly and um yeah, we'll go from there, okay. Oh my god, guys, so we're literally just in our Uber now on the way to the new place. Literally, the van has just gone. <laughs> Which is like, oh my gosh. It's actually a weird feeling. It's like everything you own and possess is literally on four wheels and it's out of sight. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel actually quite free. Hey, babe. <laughs> I feel yeah. really free. I'm like, yeah. I feel really light all of a sudden. Like, I can start a new life somewhere. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go there now. 
Um, Fantastic Services team have just been so amazing. Honestly, we don't have a lift in our current place. So they had to do like two flights of stairs. And I know it sounds like two flights of stairs, but it's hard. Like I'm out of breath when I just go up once. So they've been so amazing. Good news is the new place actually has a lift. <laughs> so we're really excited about that. So that'll be really good. And yeah, hopefully it's all smooth sailing from now on. Guys, our palm tree is in one piece. Oh my God, my baby. But yeah, update on a palm tree. She has made it, she's looking good. She's probably a little bit stressed right now. She's like, what's going on? I'm very excited about getting this into the new house. P.S. guys, this is the aftermath of like stuff. Like, where does it go? Where does it go? Anyone? Hello? Where does it go? Shh. Where does it go? Hmm. It was a nice empty house until now. This was a roomy kitchen, which is not so roomy anymore. Oh my god, we're literally packed. It's done. We are so happy and excited. It was actually so much easier when you have a lift because then you can use this like crane thing, this like trolley thing. It made it so, so much easier. But now I've got to do this. Come on. I'm definitely not one of those people who's like, no, I'm not going to get involved. I get involved, guys. I'll get down. I've broken all my nails. I don't care. I'm really, I've been lifting boxes. You just got to do it, babe. I need a coffee, I need breakfast, and then I'm just gonna chill. And now we've got like so many boxes to unpack. Which is slightly stressful, but it's gonna be fine. My lips are so dry, don't judge me. So we're all done. My boyfriend's right next to me, he's too shy, he doesn't wanna be on camera. But ah, we got, almost got you. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, yeah, we are all done. Yeah, this is it guys. This is our new life in a new place. It feels crazy. I just want to say a huge thank you to Fantastic Services because both of the guys were amazing, like truly amazing. They were still making jokes at the beginning, at the middle, at the end. And I know it seems so basic, but with this is quite stressful. So just the fact that they're putting in all that hard labor and they're still joking, it just puts a smile on my face. It's really cheered me up and I just feel ready. I feel ready for the next chapter and it just feels crazy I'm just not gonna lie like it feels crazy but yeah huge thank you to them literally could not have done this without them guys there was too many there's 40 boxes plus like a million bags but yeah I hope you have enjoyed this vlog and I will see you on the next one don't forget to check out my Instagram home account it's just at Danny Defreitas home and then there's also gonna be like an empty house tour video and maybe the previous house tour video I don't know we're just gonna do the most